know the issues. We know about energy. We know about the border. We know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that. We get all that. But why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission. That's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. Uh, I am by trade, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First Pack and we want to promote and help our uh, up and coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9 11. And I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them. So let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who are looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you, Martha. Thank you all. We're honored. I know there are so many organizations represented here today. You're sitting here today. But you're, uh, you can do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes. Great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you're with us. Mike Acton. Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald with Veterans for Trump. I'm here with Ryan Briggs, who is a veteran in Texas. Ryan, how are you today, brother? Good. How are you doing, Stan? Good. Thank you, Ryan. So, Ryan, you are starting to try uh, to build a business. Um, and yes, you've sir. had some pushback from the Secretary of State. Before we get into that, can you tell uh, our viewers about your military history? My military history, I did six years. I was in the Navy, um, you know, went on a couple of deployments, got in, got out, had service connected disabilities from my job. And yeah, I got out, went in in 2011, got out 2017. And then sustained a couple injuries on my last combat deployment over in uh, Mosul and Aleppo for um, OIR, Operation and Hair Resolve. And um, since I got out, I went into lineman school, became a lineman. And due to my service and injuries, I can no longer do that job because they are progressively getting worse. So I started um, a small business called Veteran Concealment, where I make concealment flag boxes for, you know, firearms or anything that people want to keep safe, you know hidden away in their house with it still looking good and that of adding a decorative look to your interior of your home. So. So as part of the process with this business that you started and you showed me one of your units before it, it looks very good. Um, you've mm -hmm. gotten some, Texas is supposed to be a pro military state and you've yeah. got some pushback from the secretary of state on you, on, on your application to finalize your business papers. Can you explain can you name the Secretary of State and who sent you this uh, rejection letter and just explain it a little bit? So I received the uh, rejection letter August 28, 2023. The Secretary of State is uh, Jane Nelson. And also um, it was uh, signed by Melissa Kerr. She's uh, in charge of the Corporation Section Business and Public Filings Division 
um, for, um, you know, getting an LLC through the Veterans Commission Board um, without having to pay for it, you know, because that's what they do for veterans and stuff. And so I sent them all my documentation, confirming who I am, confirming my military service and all this. And they sent me this letter back August 28th stating that I cannot use the word veteran because it is I need it to be approved by um, an organization um, that can give me consent to use it as far as, you know, the American Legion or the um, United Spanish War Veterans or Veterans of Spanish American War. So um, I've contacted a couple of different American Legions. I've contacted another um, veteran um organization and nobody's helped me out or anything to get my approval and i just need the letter of approval saying that i am who i am and that it's okay for me to use the word veteran for my company it's what's holding me up and getting my um business id number and then my llc to make everything official so just to clarify this how insane this sounds to the average person you are a combat veteran you have yes, document sir. you have documents showing you, yes. you are a veteran. The state of Texas is veteran friendly, red state. You get a letter back saying, even though you've proven you're a veteran, we need somebody to vouch for you. Is that basically my under is my understanding correct? Yes, that is a hundred percent correct. It says, um, can I use any part of the word veteran without written permission from a congressionally recognized veteran organization, you know, that has with a name containing the same word or phrases. So basically any backed um, congressionally recognized veteran organization to get approval for this, you know, would help me to, you know, take my business into the next level to where I can market it. And I am hundred percent legit, you know, as I am disabled veteran, I'm no longer working anymore. And this is, you know, my second step at attempt to, you know, you know, have a small business and hopefully employ other veterans as well in the future. Well, Ryan, first, let me thank you for your service and the sacrifice you made for this country. And I'm sorry that you're having such a hard time with bu bureaucracy. So uh, we'll use our network. We'll put out some press first to get, you know, that way we have something to leverage. And then uh, we'll we'll reach out to some people in Texas and in D.C. if we have to, because this seems something that could be fixable very quickly. Uh, so we'll try to help and uh, appreciate you reaching out. And thank you, sir. Yeah, if we could, you know, we'll talk again in the future. Keep us updated. And I just send I me those, do those documents and we'll publish them for you and get this fixed. I will send them over to you right now. All right, Ryan. Best of luck with your new business ventures. And uh, we'll Thank do with our organization. We'll do what we can to move this along for you. Awesome. All right, my friend. You take care now. You too.